Hi, this is your host Swapna Bharati and welcome to TFIR. At TFIR, we talk about open source and emerging technologies that are powering the ongoing industrial evolution. We talk about technologies and trends in fields like cloud computing, containers, machine learning, artificial intelligence, robotics, and much more. As long as there is an open source angle to it, we are interested in telling that story. Uh, TFR is fully funded by patrons and sponsors like you, and we would like to thank your sponsors for making it possible. Uh, being a sponsor of TFR has its own perks, so if you want to become a sponsor, please visit tfir.io slash sponsorship page. Uh, and now let's talk about who we are going to talk and meet today. So today we are going to meet someone at Microsoft and we are going to talk about open source, Azure, big data and machine learning. The interview was conducted at the Microsoft Connect event in New York. So let's go and meet our next guest. I'm Mitra Azizirad. I'm the Corporate Vice President for Cloud and Enterprise Data Developer Platform and Artificial Intelligence for Microsoft. So today at the Microsoft Connect, one of the uh, major highlights was uh, the arrival of uh, Databricks on Azure. So what was the need? Uh, it's, it's twofold. One is um, we very much understand that 80% of AI is around data. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a very strong data story within Microsoft. We understand how important Spark is within the community and um, in terms of our ability to really simplify and democratize AI for developers as well as for data scientists, data engineers. We also want to make sure that we are making this available in a very simplified way for our enterprise customers as well as for developers. And so what you saw at Connect was a very um, deliberate uh, place for us to launch this partnership so that we can reach out to the 9 million professional developers that are out there and so they can understand what the opportunity is with this partnership that um, is going to be a very fruitful partnership between uh, Databricks and Microsoft, both from the opportunities it brings developers around the applications of the future, um, as well as what it brings for our enterprise customers and some of the use cases that Ali talked to you about previously. And so that integration with Azure, where we feel really bringing the best of Azure and the best of Databricks together, gives us a very differentiated offering as we move forward. So we're very, very excited about it. And uh, I mean, you have already answered, but uh, I mean, uh, is, is there like, why now? Why not earlier or why not six months later? Well, we would have loved to have it a little bit earlier. We've been working together for, for a while. Mm -hmm. um, six months, I think, you know, right now time is of the essence. Mm -hmm. uh, the amount of interest that we are seeing from our customers and from the developer community um, in terms of making 80% of AI is data. And so you, you saw today at Connect, we had a very strong showing from data. We really started that last year. And this year was a, a big coming out party. And I think the Databricks partnership was a huge milestone in that coming out party in terms of um, what, what you need to do to reason over that data. Modern data warehousing, how we're integrating across whether it's Azure Cosmos DB or it's Azure SQL DB. Um, all those aspects that now, you know, Power BI, all of those things that make Azure a one-stop destination uh, for providing those powerful scenarios that simplify AI. We really don't believe we could have done as good a job at that without Databricks. So the time was now or yesterday. <laughs> so it was today. We would have loved it to have been yesterday. Uh, Azure has so many different components. You know, how, how, what is the integration point? You know, how do you... The so the important parts um, in terms of really making sure that we have the right uh, offerings for the enterprise is making sure that the security, the compliance, the SLAs, the integration with Azure Active Directory, that all those things are part and parcel of a first party service. And what you'll see is different for us from a Microsoft perspective is you don't see us trotting out first party services almost ever. And so this really is the first type of partnership of this type. And we're very excited to do this with, with Databricks. And so that integration, and actually that's what takes the time to make sure that it's, it's bringing all those integrated pieces together in a way that makes sure that the enterprise customers understand that they have the top security compliance, all those aspects I talked about. Um, so that is a very differentiating factor. And customers have been asking for it. 
And when you say compliance, are you talking about the industry standard compli uh, compliance, or are you talking about the compliance within you know the different ecosystems? Uh, within stand so standard industry sort of okay. compliance levels and SLAs. Right. Uh, and now, since you're working with them, what kind of involvement Microsoft will have with the Spark community? Um, the same, I would say, the same sort of um, uh, interaction that we've had. I think you know we also. You were asking about foundations um, earlier. You know there is also the .NET Foundation that Google and Samsung and Facebook are all a part of as well, and where there's 55 projects going on there. Um, as you saw with MariaDB, we joined that foundation. We um, we have uh, we contribute uh, very much in the open source community, but we also accept contributions. Um, into our projects. I think Ali was talking about how there's very different projects and very different, um, uh, you know, sort of foundations, and we'll, we'll continue to participate in all of them. It doesn't really change it. We would do that anyway. Right. As Ali mentioned, you know, that th th their customers wanted, you know, the capabilities that Azure brings. From Microsoft's point of view, you know, was there the same kind of, you know, demand from your customers, you know, as your customers that, oh, we want something, we want to spark on our Databricks on our your platform? People have talked to us about Databricks on, on our platform. You know, um, it, it's important for us to meet our customers where they are on their journey. And so we do that both from, um, from, a, from a developer perspective, which is where are developers in their journey from an application development perspective, and also where are our customers on a journey to the cloud or where they are today. There's a lot of customers with a lot of data on-prem. There's, there's hybrid approaches, there's cloud approaches. And so really meeting our customers where they are means that we need to have offerings that meet them wherever that um, inflection point is for them. So Databricks is a, a very important part of that journey. Okay. And it's an ultimate destination, right? So when we say for Azure, what was really important for us is to make sure that we have the components that make it a one-stop destination for as you know simplified AI uh, we would not have been able to do the same thing without Databricks. So it was very crucial to our to our strategy. Right. Uh, anything else that you would like to highlight on? We're very excited about the partnership. You'll be seeing a lot more moving forward. I'm sure um, there'll be a lot of use cases that we'll be coming out jointly and talking about. Mm -hmm. um, but we really are mobilizing both from a go-to-market, a business, um, and, a, um, and a sales perspective. So you'll be hearing a lot more as we move forward. This was step one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thanks for your time and you know, hopefully we'll see you again at... Uh, Next at Connect. Yes. <laughs> as someone who has been covering open source for more than 13 years now, I'm really impressed with all the work that Microsoft is doing in this space. Every time I talk to someone at Microsoft, I learn something new about the company. Uh, I learned something new that they are doing. It, it's really great to be a tech journalist these days, to be honest, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, uh, in the next interview, we'll be talking to another interesting guest who I'm sure you won't want to miss. So if you have not subscribed to our audio and video feeds yet, please go ahead and do it now. Just visit tfir.io slash shows and you'll find links to our YouTube channel, SoundCloud podcast, newsletters and more. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye for now.